All right, basically, like I said, we have this cable right here, and it's currently plugged into my GPS, and my GPS shows that it's charging. All right, so I'm gonna plug the GPS, go over here to my headphones right here. Plug those in. Let's plug in. They're charging. All right, I'm gonna plug plug the headphones and swap out the USB cable. Get the other one right here. Plug this in. Alright, that's plugged in. Still hooked up to the DC to DC. Grab the other end. Alright. Alright, it's plugged into this phone. This is my wife's old phone. Red light indicated charging. Unplug it. Not charging anymore. This is my phone. Plugged it in. Battery light up there should indicate it's charging. It says it's charging, so I'll unplug it. This should turn red. Getting low, okay. But, uh, and it's turned red, indicating that the battery is discharging. Come over here to another old cell phone that I have. Plugged in, red light is charging. Plug up there, it says it's charging. Unplug it. Light goes off back to the battery. So these are all the devices that I used or wanted to use or still use, and it's still working fine. So um, this should be safe to use on your bike. Like I said, the DC to DC is uh, good for zero. Wait, it's good from 4.5 volts to 60 volts, and it can put out three amps. And another thing is it has a short protection so that. Um, in case somehow that the output is too short, it'll cut itself off. And if the outputs aren't shorting, shorting, but there's a heavy load on it, there's a light right there next to the um, next to the switch that will uh, that will come on, indicating that it's in constant current mode. That is, um, is putting out the maximum amount of current. Um,